Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mercedes SLK. Um, lovely looking car this one, it's got the AMG package, so nice wheels and body kit and everything. I'll take you around and show you all the bits and bobs. Um, right, metallic black, um, I think it's usually obsidian black on these, but I will check and put it on the advert, the exact colour name. LED daytime running lights, front parking sensors, tiny little bit of discoloration just on the top of the headlights as always seems to be the way with these. Not too bad though by any means, but just worth pointing out. 18 inch alloys, it's got Pirelli tyres on the front and I think it's Continentals on the back, so premium brand tyres all round. And they've got minimal bits of wear here, that's more lacquer peel than a couple of little marks there. Bodywork, nice and straight throughout. See, it's got the AMG edition badges on there, indicators in the wing mirrors. Doesn't look to have had any previous paintwork that I could spot. I will show it with the roof up as well. I've left the roof down because it gives me the more light when we get round to the interior to, to show you in there. See, it's got the little AMG lip spoiler and the badge and everything. Rear parking sensors there as well, along with the twin exhausts and the valance. Gives it a real sporty look. So this is it with the roof folded in. So you still get a reasonable size boot. There's some rear mats in there as well, and a warning triangle. Um, obviously, if you've got the roof up, you get all this additional room here as well. There we are. Alright, we'll have a look inside now, which I can almost do from the outside, but we, we will open up the doors. Um, red and black leather stitching throughout. You've got your electric mirrors and electric windows there, as well as your locking. Uh, that's like a brushed aluminium type effect. Got the aluminium Mercedes kick plates there. The build sticker there, which I'll include a picture of, so you can see the VIN number and everything. Uh, lovely leather. Nice uh, sort of accentuated bolsters. It's got the neck scarf, so heating coming out of here for the back of your neck. If you've got the roof down, that's very nice. Got your windbreak here as well. Visual aid for your parking sensors as well as an additional speaker and a little storage area there. I will sit in the driver's seat in a minute. I'll just show you around the passenger side first and then. And I'll show you the rest of the features over that side. Obviously electric windows both sides, little storage areas down here. Mats are present throughout. I wouldn't say they're official Mercedes ones, I think they're aftermarket ones. Passenger seat in good condition as well. It's nice contrast in red seat belts. Airbag up here. Now in there, you can put in a little module, which I've got on order right now, that then gives the car sat-nav. Surprisingly cheap, they're only £100 on eBay. It's an official Mercedes product made by Becker, I think it is. We did one the other day to a B-Class. You literally just plug it in, and then the sat-nav springs into action. I'll show you how to get to the sat-nav. At the moment it says module not connected, because we're literally just waiting on that. I only ordered it this morning, so this car will have sat-nav. So I thought it's a shame to have such a nice car, all these nice features and no nav. So when that arrives, I'll, I'll put some updated pictures showing the sat nav in operation. Right. So lights there, they're also. You've got your fog lights and your parking brake there as well. Two keys, 
both original Mercedes ones. There's the mileage, just nicely under the 60. 59,846. You've got this nice sporty flat bottomed leather trim steering wheel, again in the red and black theme. That's for your onboard computer, that's for your audio and your phone over this side. That one will spring into action when we attach that sat nav module. You've got paddle shift there for your automatic gearbox as well. Then you've got your wipers and indicators on the one stalk and then your cruise control just below it. Here's your infotainment system so you can see it's got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM. Bluetooth links up there or you can use the auxiliary input or it does have a physical disc slot as well. Navigation again the module will be there any minute now and that's where you link up your telephone for Bluetooth. That's all done on there. That's your neck scarf and that's the heated seat. You've got that on both sides. There's your aircon controls. 12 volt point, bits the valitors have missed. We'll get that sorted obviously. There's your gear stick. So you can put it into the uh, sort of semi-automatic modes and the different modes there, sports, etc. That is a little shortcut wheel for the radio if you don't want to use the buttons up here. You can get to all the basic bits there. Cup holders, armrest, your auxiliary point is in there. And there's a USB port and a 12 volt point down there as well. And then this little one opens up. That's to do all your windows simultaneously. This one's to do the roof. So if I push that down, see the roof coming up and over. And all the windows then do it by themselves as well. Then you can release that button. It's just the opposite, pull it up in the air if you want to have the roof down. I'll take you outside and just show you the roof. We'll finish off there. There, as you can see, there it is with the roof up. As you know, with these, it's a proper hard roof. It's not fabric or anything, so ideal for year-round use. It seems to have sort of glass here as well. Um, nothing you can see from underneath that I've noticed, so I'm, I'm not sure the idea behind that. You'd think it would just be a solid panel, but there will be a reason, of course, that I don't know. So have a Google of that. Um, right, there we are then. So uh, that's everything that I can see on the car. If I've missed anything, obviously just give me a bell. I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Um, I will include as many pictures as I possibly can of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork we got with this one. So hopefully that will give you a well-rounded view of what this car is actually like. If you're having it delivered, you know, at a distance. Um, if you're more local to us and you want to pop in and see the car for yourself, you're obviously more than welcome to do that as well. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.